Warning, this is an old video, but it was really good and I never edited it, so I'm finally putting it on my channel now. Enjoy. Hey there chameleons, it's Camille, and today is move out day. It's my last day at college ever, and it's real bittersweet, but I'm gonna show you my dorm since I didn't show you all year and people have asked for it and I promised it, so why not do it last day after my roommate has already moved out and you can't even see how everything is put together. But you can see most of it. But all my stuff is still here, so I'm gonna show you how I organized it, um, tell you where I got a few things, and give you some tips for decorating your own dorm room. So I'm in C201D. Oh, and the building that I live in is called Hopkins, so if anyone's familiar with URI, you know exactly which room I'm talking about. And if anyone is going to move to URI, totally try and get this room because there's a surprise on the ceiling that I'm gonna show you at the end. Anyway, so once you walk in, this is what the door looks like. I have a hanging mirror, which is very important, so you can see your outfits every day, and when you're leaving, you're like, oh, is my lipstick messed up? Nope, I can go. So always have a mirror. We have the gym schedule on the door, and then um, my roommate and I have a joint calendar because we do everything together. So we just have one that we put on the door. Over here, I had a really cute thing to hold up my sunglasses, but the last one fell, so now it's all droopy. But imagine just a rope straight across that holds all the sunglasses. That's what it's supposed to be. And then I have this hook that I just hang my regular glasses on every day, so I always know where they are and never lose them. I made that dream catcher, and then that's the lights that are plugged in. I have these cute little fairy lights that I got from Amazon. And this is my tapestry that everyone always asks about. It's from Etsy, and I can link it down below. The only way I was able to get this tapestry to stay up is by getting these little command hooks right there and putting them like every like two feet-ish on the wall. And then I sewed little loops of thread right there on the tapestry and then just like hooked it on to all of the little hooks. I tried expensive tape, I tried tacks, I tried everything and it did not work. Except over here, this thing is held up just by tacks because even though this is a concrete wall, there's so much paint on it. You can literally tack through the paint and it's thick enough to hold up this entire tapestry. It never fell during the school year. This one, on the other hand, was held up by tax and fell probably once a month, maybe once every three weeks, but we didn't give up. Um, I got it specifically to go with my bedding. Over the summer, I was looking for tapestries and bedding that would go together and be really cute. So this is from Urban Outfitters, and it has a really cute pattern that I like, and that's why I got it. So this is actually just a duvet cover, and I had to buy the duvet itself separately. So that's on the inside. It, like, slips in over there. Got that from Amazon. I also bought the pillowcase shams, which match the bedding. And then I have another white pillow back there and a blue pillow back there because I like a lot of pillows. And right here, this is just um, plain white sheets that I got from Costco and they have a very high thread count. So they're super comfortable. So definitely recommend that. And they're like mad affordable. And then under here is this like velvety kind of blanket that's really warm. And it's important to have a really warm blanket because sometimes it gets cold in the dorms. So that's. That's the layers of my bed. Beds are like onions. They have layers. Shrek would be very proud of me right now. But anyways, the last two pillows that I have are a satin pillow. Um, I just have a satin pillowcase because it's good for your skin and it doesn't ruin your hair, even though I do wear my satin bonnet at night. And then I have this cute little throw pillow that's just like textured and white from Target. Now this little guy right here is a roadie ram, which is our school's mascot, and my good friend Sunny gave it to me because I'm leaving and it was a going away present and it was super adorable of her. Now, below the bed is where I keep stuff stored, which frees up a lot of extra space in my room. I have my bed lofted, it actually came like that, so I didn't need to loft it myself. And over here I have a little plastic set of drawers. So in here I keep contacts and cotton pads and eye makeup remover 
and in here I just keep some random stuff, printer ink, a roller for lint, and then down here it's my technology drawer. I don't know why I have my hot glue gun in there, but everything else is photography related. I got some film in there, some lenses, some lights, and a few miscellaneous cords. So right there is my cute longboard that I'm too terrified to use, and this is a huge tub that I have for food supplies and yeah, mostly food. And then here I just have like some miscellaneous things that I'll just need by my bedside. Um, same with up here, like contact solution and a French press for coffee. Then over here I have more storage, so I have hair stuff down there, hair tools and stuff. Some just random things that I just need. And then those are my taxes, so that's not fun. Then right over here I have a set of three drawers where I keep clothes. The bottom drawer I have sweaters and shorts, and a lot of my clothes are in the laundry right now, so this isn't everything, but that's what I use that drawer for. This drawer is for sweaters in the back and t-shirts, so you can see how I fold them. It's very easy to see exactly which shirts I have. And then this drawer is my cute drawer, so I have like nicer tops, a lot of crop tops, and then back there I have some like pajamas and just tank tops and my workout clothes so I have like spandex and I usually have sports bras here too. I have longer spandex. So I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed the bed area. Now let's move over to my vanity which is my pride and joy. As you can see it is very cluttered-ish. I mean there's a method to my madness but it looks like a lot is going on. Let me break it down for you guys. Here is my record player that usually doesn't have stuff on it so I can play records. But now that's the end of the year, it has stuff on it. And yeah, this is actually a Drake album right here on vinyl. Trust me, it's not even mine. I would not buy that. I just have some products that I've like used recently. I have a New Testament Bible because my friends threw me a going away party and thought it would be funny to give this to me because apparently I need Jesus. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my record player. Here I have a box of products that I use a lot which is kind of empty-ish right now because they're just like all over the place. And then I have some brushes in this container. I have a nail polish rack with a bunch of nail polishes that I thought I would use in college and I really didn't use that many of them. Um, I keep like pens and scissors. Um, here are a bunch of palettes back there. And then up here I have these two acrylic containers that hold everything from lashes to lipsticks to eyeshadow primers to nail tools, lip liners. And then on top I have three acrylic lipstick holders. So I have my liquid lipsticks here, a bunch of stuff, just lipsticks. <laughs> back here I have some Two dead plants that used to be succulents, but when I went to Texas they died. And over here I have two alive plants that didn't die in Texas because they're low maintenance and they're air plants. And my roommate Derry gave them to me, so they have lots of love associated with them, which is probably why they're still alive. And over here I have a cup that I took from the dining hall. I should return that. Um, and some more brushes, and then some face products. And then I have my mirror, which is great for getting ready in the morning. And then some products that I've used recently. This drawer keeps just miscellaneous beauty products. This drawer has more beauty products and a bunch of business cards back there. And then this one is my tea drawer. All of those are different types of green tea because I just keep buying it for some reason. I don't know why. And then some coffee, some cinnamon for my oatmeal. And on the chair that I have at my vanity, I have this blanket which is perfect for going out on the quad or doing any outdoor activity that needs a blanket. And trust me, you'll need one in college, so bring one. And then down here is my lovely record collection. It's still a budding collection, but I do have some of my faves. And this wouldn't even be a real video of mine if I didn't show you something related to the front bottoms. So there you go. Which also brings us to my front bottoms poster on my wall. This was from their Back on Top tour and it was on the 19th I went. So literally the day after this got released. And Derry stole this poster from the venue for me. So that's lovely some random mirror someone gave me. And over here we hang our jewelry. And this is like a tie rack that I just put like strings on to hang. Oh, there's a deer tick poster from um, 
Lupos that my friend gave me. Anyways, so we pan over here, and this is Derry's side, which is vacant because she already moved out, and I've been using it to sort through my things, but that's another tapestry, also from Etsy, that really goes with the color scheme because I spent a lot of time picking out the scheme before we moved in. But yeah, she used to sleep here and have posters on this wall. But she took them all and it's very empty now. You can see some of my um, books, a lot of self-help books over here, and a Bible coloring book, courtesy of my friends once again. <laughs> so. This was her desk also. It's very empty because she's gone, but I did do some work on my um, final project for my film class over here, which is why I have this stuff set up. And then I have two, um, my, my two teapots. Here I have two cushions that also match the color scheme that we use to sit on when our friends were here and just like when we're sitting on the floor. Um, we also had a red mat that was on the ground, which isn't anymore because um, she brought it home, but we got it from Walmart like the first weekend we were here and it matched the red in my blanket. Here I have my large tripod and my ring light that I use to film videos along with my soft boxes and these are the stands for the soft boxes right here. Then we have our mini fridge and microwave and printer trio neatly placed between the two wardrobes they gave us. Darius is once again empty because she's gone and mine has lots of stuff in it and I even hang stuff on the door flaps because it's very easy and it allows for more storage. I have like six fur coats, some shirts and dresses and a couple skirts over there. Um, just a bunch of stuff, clothing that's stuffed into those drawers, some magazines, that's a steady cam for filming and then my fluffiest of fur coats is right on the door. Um, here is the other tapestry that I got last year and thought would go well with the room. It's the Tree of Life with an elephant at the bottom and it's like tie-dye kind of. Up top here I have some laundry detergent and softener and some beach towels and things because Rhode Island is known for its beaches. And then up top you can see my glorious self-help book collection, which is a problem but I love to indulge. And now we've made it all the way back to the front of the room so you can see my shoes are right here. I have this neat little shoe rack that's very helpful for storage space. I got it from Target, I believe, and I just keep my shoes there, except for my lonely docks that don't fit. Then here, I put a hook to hang a hanger to hang my belts on it. So it's just very simple and easy to hang belts, and then all of my like lanyards from different things that I went to this year, like Generation Beauty and South by Southwest, and I went to a TEDx talk, so I just keep those there as mementos, as well as my silver play button from YouTube. Ooh, look at her in her beauty. The last place really is back here, which just has a laundry, like a flexible laundry container, and a little ironing board, and I usually keep my tripod, my study cam, and my softbox stands, just all of that go neatly back there with those cushions on top. And I told you I'd save the ceiling for last, which is probably the coolest thing. And it's daylight, so you can't really see it in its full glory. So I did take a little clip of it yesterday night, knowing that I would film this video and you'd be able to see it. So let me just explain a thing to you. You can see little faint traces of it. There is glow-in-the-dark paint on the ceiling. You can see the lines like that. And um, a few glow-in-the-dark stars. And together, oh, there you can see it. You can see the paint. They form constellations. So I found some really cool glow-in-the-dark paint at Walmart and I instantly thought it would be super rad to paint the ceiling with constellations. So my roommate Derry and I got a map of accurate constellations that you'd see in the spring in the northern hemisphere and then we made a two scale version of that on our ceiling and we used the glow in the dark stars that I got on online but like the sticky stuff that came with it wasn't sticky and they just fell all the time uh, so painting it was definitely the best um, option and it's washable paint although I'm not gonna wash it off 
Hope I don't lose my housing deposit, but whoever lives in this room next year is going to be blown away by the ceiling, and I hope you really enjoy it. I showed you my room number in Hopkins Hall. Find this room, come look at the ceiling, it's really cool. But yeah, when you turn off the lights at night, it lights up, like it glows, and you can indoor stargaze at the constellations that you'd be able to see if you went outside and looked up at the ceiling. And it's cool because you can like get to know the constellations, or you can just like have this really cool effect. Or you can impress your friends. Like I had a friend over once and I was like, yo, let me show you something really cool. So we just come in here, I turn off the lights, and we're inside stargazing. So it was super cool and it was like a four or five dollar bottle of paint. So definitely worth it. But yeah, that's pretty much my room. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tour and ideas. If there's anything you want me to link down below in the description box, let me know and I will try and find it for you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what you thought about it. And I will see you chameleons in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.